Are you going, how are you going to tell us about the product structure? With respect to these? Yeah. Um, just tell us the argument you're going to use. So I was just going to draw the mechanism to find the product and then give it. And then worry about it. Yeah. Okay. I thought it sounded like you might be about to tell us about the Felking Arn rule and okay. dirty done its trajectories and stuff like that. But no. And why were you not going to do that? Um, I wasn't going to do that because it's intramolecular. No. Why not? Why is that not a good argument to you? My self I suppose. Um, well, yes and no. This is an acetal formation reaction. It's under thermodynamic control. Okay. All of those arguments are kinetic arguments. Mm -hmm. How so do you generally decide? What? If it's thermodynamic or kinetic arguments. Um, By knowing if you're acting in the Yes. Okay. <laughs> Knowledge <laughs> is how you decide. Knowledge of <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah? Now, look, you can see what ring size you form there. Six. Yeah. Now, you said you want them both equatorial. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing was, is, that actually, there's another configuration of this particular spiroketal that would have them both axial. And it's related by being sort of the pseudo enantiomer, okay? Both of these structures benefit from double anomeric effect stabilization. Okay. This one, in this case, this is the lowest energy form. So, what I really wanted was to try and see if you could recognize drawing two chairs. Double anomeric effect and equatorial substituents on that structure. Challenging. Okay. That will challenge a finalist. Okay. okay. It's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, sort of bow tie type thing. Okay. You know, it's fine. So the product is a twist, twist boat. Yes, it is. That is actually a twist boat, although it looks a bit funny. Okay. But it's good for us to be able to represent both forms. Okay. Now, you were just asking about enolate stuff a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I can answer that immediately now. Because... Same thing. Which face of that enolate, that azo enolate, are we going to alkylate with our iodomethane? Top face or bottom face? Bottom face. So let's look at our question six then. Okay, um, so just so I don't start off with completely wrong track, is it one of them undergoes racemization? Is it because it, it must go through a planar intermediate, right? Planar is not necessarily the case. Okay. Um, goes through a chiral intermediate. An achiral intermediate. An achiral, achiral, achiral intermediate. intermediate, yes. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what intermediate is. Is it the... Well, let's, yeah, let's draw some Newman projections for these two molecules. Okay. So is it that you get a um, iridium ion? Sure, a zeridinium ion, yes, as you did right. I quite enjoyed that, yes. <laughs> is that what it is? It is, okay. it is. Did you make that up? I don't know. I think I found it somewhere. I think I Googled it. <laughs> right. Um, like that. Yep. Okay. Now you're heading in quite a good direction here, um, I think, because you're going to do the same on both sides, aren't you? Yeah. So keep going. Okay. Now some people decided they were going to interpret this question differently and think about whether, when it says what the other is returned unchanged, they interpreted that to mean it wasn't going to react 